A few months ago, in fact, in June of this year, 2019, Samro created a brand new form called the Composer Split Confirmation Form. And in this video, we're going to break down why it's been created, how you fill it out, and where it fits in with your registrations of new songs. Hey, this is the English Man of EB English Music, and welcome to another Studio Talk vlog. Now, in June of this year, 2019, Samro decided to create a brand new form called the Composer Split Confirmation Form. And a few weeks ago, I received a message from the music maker asking what this form is about and where it fits into the registrations of new songs. Now, what I can tell you off the bat is that this form is optional. You don't have to fill it in and complete it and include it with your submission or your notification of works forms. However, it will be to your advantage if you do. And this is why. Because as I mentioned in previous videos, when you register a new song and you are doing it with other songwriters and composers, it's very important that the information on each of your notification works forms for you and your collaborators, that the information has to correspond. If it doesn't correspond, then Samra will see it as a dispute and no one will receive their performance royalties for that composition until that dispute is settled. Because if you put down that you had, it was yourself and two other collaborators that worked on a particular song and you agreed that it's going to be split three ways evenly and one just it just takes one composer or writer to say that they deserve more and they fill in their for form differently and then that is where the dispute comes in and it wasn't discussed among the other songwriters and then this is where the dispute comes in and in that case Samra will not pay out any royalties so to minimize the uh, instances or the cases of disputes they decided to create this composer split confirmation form. And just to read the email that was received, I think it was on June 6th of 2019, we are pleased to inform you that Samro has created a composer split confirmation document in order to minimize or reduce the number of disputes that we currently receive which means it has become a problem. The aim of the document is for composers or authors to specify the contributions and percentage splits in the copyright as soon as the work is complete. And if you remember correctly, this is exactly what I told you to do in previous videos when you are working out splits, royalty splits. It is better when you are done with the song to have that discussion. In fact, it would be even better to go as far as filling out the forms after the session is complete and everyone has agreed to their specific percentage royalty splits. And then that way you don't have any disputes. Some of you might have seen a video on YouTube that I think it was ASCAP that posted it because they regularly have these songwriters workshops. And Monica was one of the artists that was actually one of the guests at one of these ASCAP events. And what happened was she said it got to a point where she took her split sheets with her to the studio so that when they are done with a particular song, then they will fill those split sheets in immediately. And that way, everyone agrees on what the percentage splits will be and there will be no confusion and arguments and debates after the fact. So this is where this comes in. That's why I say in the email, if I carry on, this document can accompany your Samro notification. And in brackets, it says optional as proof of the agreed splits to avoid or assist with later disputes, which is what I said in previous videos. However, they do also put in a disclaimer here, this document should not be viewed as a notification as you will still need to complete a notification form. And uh, then obviously they go on to say, uh, they give you the link to um, to downloading the form, etc., etc. Uh, and also it says, kindly note, however, the document must not be construed as the legal advice as the purpose of the document is solely to record the percentage splits in the composition. Kindly consult an attorney should you seek 
a more comprehensive document that includes terms, warranties, indemnities, and or legal advice, etc. And you will see how this Composer Split Confirmation Form is set up to reduce all these disputes. Now, I have the screen open here on Samro's website, which is samro.org.za, just to show you where you can get these forms. And you'll see at the top over here that there's a an option to for forms. So you'll click on that and on the next page, you'll see that there are forms for music creators and music users. You are obviously a music creator and you'll see there that the new um, form has been included. So you'll just click on download and you will download it and then you can fill it out, which I've already downloaded and uh, I'll show you how to fill it in in a moment. Okay, so here we have the Composer Split Confirmation document from Samro, and it's very simple really. Some of, uh, you'll see that there are some similarities between this and the notification of works form, but again, very important, this does not substitute the notification of works form. So how the procedure will work is once you've written or composed a song and you have collaborators, then you will fill in the notification of works form based on on the agreed percentage splits and then also fill in this form because it's slightly different this way people are putting information out there that they cannot dispute later so if they agree and sign this document there's no way that they can come afterwards and say that no I don't agree to this and I deserve more etc etc so this is like a safeguard so it's very simple at the top you'll fill in the date and um, for the sake of ease I'll fill in today's date so which is is 25 August, not August, but August 2019. Okay, uh, this is the date at the time that I'm recording this video. Then the title of the composition, let's make it simple, um, very cliche, but let's say it's I love you. Next, you will fill in the composer's or author's full names as per the name on the ID, as per the name that's registered with Samro. Again, some typical name here, John Smith, and the contribution. So you'll notice that this is similar to the notification of works form where John Smith was either the one that provided the lyrics, lyrics and melody, lyrics or melody and a little bit of the composition of the music. So let's say for the sake of ease, John only did lyrics. Lyrics. All right, not even the melody of the lyrics, just the lyrics. We'll go old school on this one. And the other person involved was Pamela Johnson. And Pamela was responsible for the music uh, composition as well as melody of the lyrics that were written by John Smith. And in a case like this, it would just be 50-50. So you would put there 50% um, for John Smith and 50% for Pamela Johnson. In the next section, now it's to confirm the information above. Very simple. So John Smith will put his name down again including his ID number, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, because I think it's 13 digits that, that an ID number is in South Africa. And um, Pamela Johnson, and for her, let's just do some random thing here, uh, 0987654321. Um, and then 321 again. All right, very simple. It doesn't exist, these ID numbers. And then, of course, both songwriters and, and composers here would include their signature in the signature tab. Very, very, very simple. Again, that disclaimer there that this document shall not be construed as legal advice. And it's just a safeguard because once this is included with the notification of works form, it tells Samro that both collaborators who are, or however many collaborators there are on the song, they've all agreed to the percentage splits. They've included their names, their ID numbers, their signatures. There's no way of going back on this. And this just settles the dispute once and for all.
And that is how you fill out these composer split confirmation forms. You will include this with your notification of works form to include to when you do a registration of a new song and you have collaborators. Obviously, when you're working on a song on your own, you won't need to to fill this out, and that's why it's optional. Uh, it's it's more when you are working with other songwriters and composers, and even more so when you are working with collaborators for the very first time, and you don't really know who they are and how they work. A system like this that has been put in place will help safeguard you against any disputes later on. If you have any questions, feel free to include it in the comment section down below. And like so many other music makers, I try my best to answer your questions, whether it be on Instagram, DM, whether it be on Twitter, whether it be on Facebook, any kind of social media platform, and including the comment section below, I try my best to answer those questions. And if I don't know something, I will do research on it and try and get back to you as soon as possible. Don't also forget to give me a thumbs up for this video. Share this video with whoever you think will benefit from this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so that you won't miss another Studio Talk vlog in the future. And I'll catch you on the next Studio Talk vlog. Ooh, bet, 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 the English